What's up guys? So guys, I found these two tires. Found this tires, inner tube, tire inner tube in the garbage along with this bicycle. This seat and post I put on, this handlebar I put on from this bike. Guys, this is all the parts I just scavenge. These are the bicycle parts that I scavenge. I pull stuff off of here like, like the derailleur, the brake pads, anything I need I just pull off of these bicycles. Even this bike over here, look at this one. I have to strip that bike on everything. I've gone through rims. I've taken the rims off. Gone through that rim. Gone through front tires. So to find this bicycle with straight rims and then two tires to be able to put these bikes back, very excited. Because I was scavenging off all these bicycles just to keep this one running. I was keeping this one running. This was my nephew's bike. So I was using all those park parts. All those bike parts from those three bicycles to keep this one going. And it helped me two years on this bike. Maybe a little more. <sighs> Served me well. And guys, so that's it. Just very thankful that I was able to find that. And you know, that's another thing I want to mention. I was like, literally like, I was like, man, I wish I could find, I wish I could buy, because the bike stores are really closed. So I was like, I wish I could find something like in the garbage. And boom, I swear to God, I did. So now I'm going to be like, man, I wish I had 5.5 million and a million cash just so I can start this company. <laughs> I'm going to start, start, start manifesting that stuff, you know. I'm going to start manifesting. All right, guys. That's what it is. That's what I wanted to I guess this whole thing is manifestation. I manifested this. Look at this. I found these. Brand, like these, like look at that. Found it. Man, I'm just, I manifested this. I'm going to manifest my company. Love you guys. Bye. So I bought this bicycle because I was intending to give this to my nephew, but he liked the mongoose instead. And this is the one I found. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the parts off the, off the GT. See, there it is. Seat post. Put the rear derailleur on. Well, I put the chain on. And uh, the only thing I'm going to be missing is... The cable that goes to the rear derailleur and the rear brake, I have to get that. Because the front one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull off of that bike. And that's it, guys. So it's kind of cool. I'm just going to swap it up. Those bikes are good. Good to go. Guys, we just know it's so weird. Me and my brother used to BMX when we were kids. And we got this GT 6mm wrench. And look at that. It fit right into the GT. It's so crazy. We got this when we were kids. Look at that. I don't know. It just was weird that we still... Uh, this is crazy to me. Alright guys, love you. There you go guys. We just pulled it off. Now let's get these wires disconnected and put them on the other bike. The diameter's too big. It won't fit in, in that head tube. So I'm just going to put this back. So all I was able to scavenge off this bike was the rear derailleur. And the chain. That's it. Now, um, I put that thing on for the bottle holder. Got the handlebars, shifters from another bicycle. Change the spring. I don't know. That's a that's a big deal to me. All right. So, oh, and here's the brake. I put the brake on. So check it out. So that's good. And I'm cleaning the chain. I put the chain in apple, I'm sorry, white cider, vin white vinegar. You see it just chewing it up. See it? You can see some of the rust coming off. So I'm going to let this sit for like 24 hours or so. And um, yeah, I'm going to put the back brake on now. Keep on going. I, I pulled these off of the old bicycle. And I put the kickstand from the old bike there. A little memento. Alright guys, let me finish this up. Good news, so we got the back brake working. Let me show you. Got the front brake working. So I just, the chain's getting ready. So all that's left is the rear derailleur to wire it and to wire the that so I gotta wire these two now these two 
the derailleur, and this. And I got some cables here, some cables there. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So these two already have cables too. So these two, these two, I gotta figure some. Here's the cables. So I just gotta see if they can fit the wires now. All right, guys, I'm almost there. It's starting to actually look really nice. All right, guys, so I got all the the levers, the brakes, everything's running fine. Let's do here. I just gotta tighten it up once I put the chain on. Once I put the chain on, I can do the derailers. Yep. Hey, Loki. All right, guys, so that's uh, that's it for the day. I'm going to go take a shower and call it a day. Love you guys. Bye. All right, guys, so we left the chain in here for like four days. I'm going to rinse it off. Let me first dump this. There it is. That's the chain. So I need to do those. Okay, those two little pieces good. Wow. Wow, this looks so good. Let's, uh, Wow. That looks great. Let me take this, let me hose it off. <sighs> wow. Like what? You can actually see like the letters in the middle. Or a logo right in the middle of the chain. Wow, dude, I've, I saw this on in the internet, so I thought I'd give it a shot and it worked. 100%, 100% work, dude. Wow. All right, guys, let me put, now I'm going to put this together and put it on the bike. Get that bad boy running. Love you guys. Bye. Use this chain one more time. I dried it up. You know, look at this. Wow. I am so impressed. Guys, right, so we got the chain cleaned up. It looks fantastic. I'm going to look at this bike while I put it on. Here it is. Okay, I need two hands, so I'll be right back when I get this through, okay? I just connected it. Looks good. Now I just gotta. Now I'm just gonna do this and this, and take it for a ride. Okay, let's do it, guys. I put everything together, but I had I looped the chain in wrong here. See that? It's supposed to go underneath that to here. So I gotta take this off and then open it. All right, hold on. I guess I got it. Now it feels a little bit better. Just gotta oil some stuff and just fine tune it now. What with the fuck? Oh, shift the gears. Okay guys, so I just gotta fine tune it. Alright guys, this thing, the teeth are too thick. So I had to change it with this one. These are thinner. Can you see the difference? Okay, so I don't think it was the things. I think I just had to adjust this little things right here. Once I adjusted it, it just started falling right. So it it it, it looks better anyway. It it, it I don't know. <laughs> so now um, everything everything works. The only thing left is this. I gotta do one more adjustment, and I decided to fix this pedal. See, it's a little warped. It's not cracked. It doesn't there's a small little crack there, but. Small crack there, but I'm gonna try and straighten it out and see what happens. Let me take this off. See, I start taking the screw off. Take this off. Okay, so I straightened it out as best I could, and I'm just gonna attach the screws back on. Okay, guys, there we go. Good as new. All right, now let's get back to this and finish this off. All right, guys, that's it. We got this. All fixed up, all lined up. Let's see. Let's, let's take it for a ride. Alright, guys, finished it. <laughs> Got everything adjusted, all the things work. I pulled these off of another bike, off of another bike. I think it might have been a purple one or something. Old handles, old handlebars, brakes. Brakes look good. Put this Got this off another bike, fixed the pedals. I just rode it. It rides really good. Like, really, really good. Like, real good. 
right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.